One of the things when I go out antique and vintage shopping that I like to look for are the little things that you can find. It's often easy to go and find the big pieces of furniture that catch your eye or maybe the beautiful lighting that you'll see that will catch your eye. But sometimes the smallest things with a very small budget you can get add a lot of character to your home. First of all, it's green. It's something that can be repurposed maybe to something completely different than what it was intended to be. And also, it's just kind of fun to have that background story, maybe about where you found it or what it was originally used for. I've been scouring through things at the Red Shed here today, and I found a couple of things that I really like that I'd like to repurpose for a home. And so, for example, I've come in here and I found in this little display here some of these great skeleton keys. I love these because I'll never be able to know what they're locked to, but it makes you kind of wonder. But then also, these can be repurposed into beautiful artwork for your home or something like that that just adds a little bit of character. It might be fun in a child's room or in a dining room or something like that. Also, one of my favorite pieces of architectural salvage is glass doorknobs. I actually collect these and have hundreds of them. Um, one of the things that I like to do with them is this one obviously does not have the rod and it can no longer be used as a doorknob but instead I'll add a finial to this and make it into a paperweight and it's a really beautiful piece that you can just have sitting on your desk telling your friends about a day while you were out antiquing maybe the day that you found that beautiful chair or Picasso that you were looking for. <laughs> the other thing that I found while I was here that I was very excited about is I found an entire collection of these small glass knobs with all of their original hardware which is really exquisite. Oftentimes you'll find the knobs they might be chipped and broken or they won't have the original hardware with them. What I love about these is there's a whole collection of them. Not really sure what I'm going to use them for but I'm thinking about making it into a necklace holder. I'll grab a piece of salvaged wood here and mount them on there and then you can drape all the jewelry on it. I bought the entire collection at once. There were 12 pieces. I probably don't need 12, but it actually gives me the best opportunity to negotiate a good price. So at $3.50 a piece, I was able to get these for about $2.50 a piece by buying the entire collection.